It seems the frantic rhythm of modern life does not leave room for a lifestyle like that of religious people, one that is more sober, silent, and discreet. However, the Pope believes the opposite. He says the religious have much to contribute to today's church and society. He is not dissuaded by the fact that there are many places with a lower number of religious vocations. Fernando Prado interviewed the Pope on the topic of religious life and used his responses to create this new book, The Strength of Vocation. In the book, Pope Francis looks toward the future and hits a sensitive issue. He calls for caution when choosing future candidates for seminarians. He believes we must be very demanding when it comes to selecting and training future generations of the Church that there must be a maturity not only intellectual, spiritual, religious, but also human in the candidates that will be trained. E poi i problemi che si sono lì dentro, no, si deve ricevere con serietà. The book is a result of a long interview with the Pope conducted by Fernando Prado. While speaking about the maturity required of candidates, he also highlighted the need for them to consider the celibacy component of their religious lifestyle, especially in the case of homosexual people in the church. So what he said is that when there is a person who is homosexual and has been ordained, he asks that the person be meticulous in practicing celibacy. If he is incapable, it is better for him to leave the ministry or the religious life instead of living a double life. The strength of vocation is not a compilation of warnings from the Pope. Instead, it is a reminder of the importance of the religious life in the Church. There is no shortage of demand for the new book, as it has already been translated into 11 languages.